What's up everybody, Andrew Tice here from Integrated Power Washing Services here in Warner Robins, Georgia. There's a harmless plug, shameless plug. <laughs> anyway, today uh, I'm doing some cedar shutters for a customer. And uh, I took these off to bring them home so that I could wash them without worrying about windows and, and uh, vinyl and other things in the way. I could just take them down, I could let them dry on my own, make sure they're washed properly. Uh, basically, these have already been washed. They had a lacquer on them. So I used a hydroxide based uh, uh, soap with some sodium hypochlorite to get rid of the mold and mildew with a surfactant. But what I'm doing now is I'm using some oxalic acid on them. And a lot of guys, they'll skip this step. They'll, uh, cause it just doesn't seem uh, necessary or, or, or it's not something that is gonna make it look better. Well, I'm here to tell you it does. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna, we're gonna treat one of these with ox and leave the other one alone now this is a seven ounce a gallon mixture here i've got going on uh which is a little hot it's a little strong but uh i want to make sure that I, I i brighten these up as much as possible so that they look like that so we're going to do this and then i'll get back with you and we're back and as you can see the difference is clear as day there um ox on the right no ox on the left now, i am obviously going to oxalic acid all these so that they all look just as pretty but I did also did the front and the back of these even though the back isn't going to be seen uh, I'm also going to stain the back of these as well and the tops of them so that uh, the oil has a chance to work inside and protect the whole of that wood not just the outside another reason why I took them off now this is obviously just the aesthetic benefit to oxalic acid the other main benefit is sodium hydroxide sodium hypochlorite are both caustics they're very caustic at a pH of about 11 and a half 10 and a half to 11 and a half are very caustic, which means they will oxidize things, AKA rust them. Uh, and these are put together with very small, uh, basically brad nails, very thin, very, very weak brad nails. And uh, just a little bit of rust and those things will snap like, like toothpicks, because that's about the, the size of them. So guys, if you're using uh, these caustics to wash wood, don't forget oxalic. Uh, if you can find it in bulk, it's a very important step to do. Uh, not only for the look, but also for the uh, the functionality and the the uh, integrity of the wood, so uh, and the fasteners on them. So if you have any questions, uh, comment on this video, and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a good day. All right, guys, one last snippet here uh, I forgot to uh, to include in this video, and that is a, a, a question I get asked quite a bit with oxalic is, do you rinse oxalic? Uh, you don't have to. Um, I've been told you don't have to by wood professionals that trained me. Um, but this is a pretty strong solution. Seven ounces a gallon direct applied is pretty strong. So I am going to rinse this off. Uh, but like if you're doing a fence and you're downstream oxalic, like 12 to 14 ounces a gallon, uh, you want to mix that with hot water, obviously. But you really don't have to rinse it just because you're neutralizing the caustic that you've put on. So chances are it's not going to hurt the grass especially if you're downstreaming uh it's not gonna it's not gonna harm anything to leave it there um there's no surfactant obviously in this there's nothing else in this other than the acid itself so it's very mild uh it's comparable to citric acid in your sodas or your juices so uh it's just a light acid to to bring out the color back to you know amazon i believe calls it wood bleach other people call it wood bleach uh and that's what this is you know this is this is uh a brightener but it's also a neutralizer and it prevents corrosion so you can upsell that to your customers you can add that into your estimates and and workups or if you're a homeowner you can you can you can rest assured that this does do something and very important for the wood so uh, again hope you have a guys you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon